Okay, uh, thanks for checking my channel out again. Uh, if this is your first time coming to this channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe, um, like, share, feel free to comment. Uh, so this is the first video in a new series that I'm starting as well. So I've already started a series on RAM sticks. Uh, this one is a series on computer boards, motherboards. So what gold I can get from the motherboards um, and so on. So this one is mainly going to be um, about the uh, CPUs. So first off we have your motherboard. So this is your I'll just take this apart. This is just a little PC. Um and hopefully there's a motherboard in this because I didn't even or not a motherboard um a CPU. Hopefully there's a CPU in here because I didn't even bother checking this one, but I presume there is some sort of CPU there is. Okay, it hasn't been removed already. So this is your your um, PC would say, Any P most PCs will be the same, they have your motherboard, they have your heat sinks, uh, they have a hard drive, they have some RAM, but the RAM has been removed already from this, um, and that will be mainly it. So, in behind here, should be my uh, CPU. So I just get a screwdriver to, to remove these. So it's just a matter of removing these little screws that are holding it here at the side. So we'll just screw that off. Do the same with this one. Um, so as I said, this is the first one in the series. Uh, it's to do with the um, CPUs and getting the gold from the CPUs. I will be doing it on the rest of the stuff as well, the uh, PGA chips, the... Um, I've already started one on the RAM. I've already... Um, I'll be doing one on the gold pins. Um, I'll be doing it on the actual rest of the chips on the motherboard, stuff like that. So if you want to keep up to date on the series, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. So that's just... Nice, nice, um, just zoom out. Nice lump of um, aluminium with copper through it. So you can put that into your, um, you can either cut the, cut the copper bits off that you can get off or remove the copper and add that to your copper and then you have some aluminium. So under here will be my CPU. So on this one, I'm not expecting a great CPU to be honest. Um, probably it's probably going to be all um, just no pins, probably just flat. Yeah, so this is the thought. It's a pinless CPU. So we'll move on now in a second. But um, that's what this video is going to be on about how I remove or how I get each each one, how I process, what type of chips there is. So this is the first in the series, so this is how, uh, going to be more or less on, how, on the types of CPUs that I have. And then we'll move on to processing them, removing the pins, stuff like that. So just to give you a quick look at the motherboard, um, while we're here, I'll just get my chisel and we'll remove this heat sink. Okay, we'll heat sink there. Uh, just remove some of the cabling so we can get a better look into it. So I'll also be doing a video on these. These will be part of my gold pins. Um, so on removing the gold from these little gold pins and stuff like that. Um, I'll be doing videos on that. This is a little. So this must be the little hard drive, is it of some sort? Or is it the Wi-Fi card? Uh, little Wi-Fi card. Um, so again, I'll be doing a video, a future video on these chips off them, of all my uh, chips that I collect up from the PCs. Uh, these here are cer ceramic um, crystal oscillators. So they have a better, better gold content than the normal crystal, uh, crystal oscillators. These are ceramic versions, so I'll be doing a video on them. Um, on this side, let me see what's underneath this cover. If we can remove it. I don't want to spend too long 
on stuff that isn't to do with the PC, um, CPUs on this video, but we'll just try and get this off if I can. It's well secured on. There's a good bit of what call under it. Um, heat paste. So maybe there's a good nice little chip under it when it's trying to disperse the heat by using the paste. Doesn't want to come off too easy, so I'll leave it aside for a minute. We gotta look at it at the end of it, maybe because it's not really this video, it's really about that. So, again, on this board, so I'll be talking about the IC chips in future videos. Um, give me some IC chips here. This one here is a flatbed chip with a little bit of gold in them, not as much as the proper gold cornered uh, BGAs, which I don't see any on this board. So, that's really mainly it. What I'll be talking about because the RAM I've already done a video on. Uh, we have a little IC chip under, or quite a large IC chip under here. Again with a heat sink on it. So again we'll do that in a future video. Um, and again I'll work on these, how I remove, I remove these. And I also treat, will try and recover the gold from these. Each one of these has a little gold pin on them. Because if it's a flat pad, they have to make contact with these gold pins coming up through here. Rather than the other way around. And the MLCCs, okay, so I'll be doing a video on MLCCs as part of a series as well. So, that was my um, most basic chip that you can find in the PCs. Um, very little gold on them, because it's just a flashed. Um, the way I'll treat these will be the same way as how I remove the gold from um, the RAM fingers. It'll be, I'll remove this cap, I will soak these in... Um, in HCl and hydro, hydro uh, peroxide, hydrogen peroxide to remove the gold foils and then so uh, treat them. So you'll see that coming up in the series uh, in the gold uh, recovery from um, from the RAM. So just to show you some more of the P, these are again these are pinned. So these are gold pins that I will be dealing with on them. So again, you have these gold pins. These are all gold pin um, CPUs. I'm not sure where I got these ones out of. Uh, these ones are just out of your regular PCs. Some of the larger ones, I'm not sure what I got them out of or where I came across them. Um, so again, that's another one from a PC. So we have the gold, uh, these are all your gold pins that are along here. So again, that's another Another one I'll be dealing with um, when I, in the next few, few videos coming up on how I get the pins off there first and then what treatments of acid I use to, um, to go for going forward on them. So we'll just put that back in there. So as you can see, these are all my pinless ones. I, I like to separate them out, makes it easier for dealing with later. Um, in, in when I'm going to deal with them. So I have all the pinless together. So I'll just add that one now to the collection of pinless that I have to deal with. So there's a lot of pinless uh, chips in there. So there, as I said, least value. To me, any, I don't see any real value in them. A lot of work for what you're going to get out of them, but you have to do them. So then are the nice ones that I like to deal with. These are my ceramics and my fibers. So, these are your green fiber, and brown fiber, and as you can see from the side angle, these have all got gold pins running down through them. So again, same as the other ones, but um, longer pins, um, better gold plating than the um, newer, cheaper ones. And then, I have a lot of them, these ones here, are the ceramics. So we have ceramics with just an aluminium heatsink on the back of them. We have the ceramics with no heatsink at all. Um, so like that. And then we have the ceramics with a nice little gold plated on the back of them. So the, the, you can see there there's some nice gold on there. Some nice thick gold on the, on the pins. 
Um, so in the next few videos coming in parts twos, threes and fours, here's another one with some nice gold um, capped and the on the back side and some nice gold pins on the other side. Again, if you look on eBay, you will see people will be buying these as collectors, uh, will buy the the ceramics if they're in good quality, if it's a rare one, you get more money than you will by uh, taking them apart. So as you can see from this one, we even have a gold center plate here, but we don't have it on the back. So it's all different types of ceramics and you can see here where it broke. So that's, um, as I say, these will be broken up by a hammer. Eventually I'll be breaking these by a hammer to treat them with the nitric acids uh, to remove the gold from them. So that's kind of it really on the um, on the first part of this series. I don't want to delay too long on it because there's no point. Um, it's it's fairly just to run through the different types that I have. Um, my next videos will be the processing of them, uh, what I'll be doing, how I be how I get the gold pins off essentially first. So the first ones will be um, probably the the gold. The ones with the heat sink on the back with the pins, I'll probably show how I remove them. It's by heat gun. Essentially, I use the heat gun to release all the pins, and put, then I'll have all my pins. The um, the flat packs are the not the flat packs. The ones with the um, pinless, I just remove the heat sink from the back, so you'll see that. And the ceramics, I will be breaking up. So again, I'll be smashing them up into smaller pieces, uh, so they can be treated with nitric acid to remove the. Um, gold from the actual pins themselves um, and that's that's the, the way that I, I will be processing these so I have a nice little collection there of them so hopefully we've a, we've a good little bit of gold off them in the end um, I, I'll probably get a better count on them at some stage I'll probably separate them out with more I'll separate out the ceramics from the fibers to, to give me a better idea of what I have just in ceramics um, in fact, well, I might do that now and I'll come back at the end of the video and we'll have a look and see what I have in ceramics and what I have in just fibres. Okay, so I've separated these out a bit better so you can get a better look at what I actually have to process at the moment. Um, so, as we said already, these are just all my pinless. These are my ceramics. So, as you can see from there, um, I don't have an awful lot of ceramics. Um, ceramics are a bit harder to find in Ireland. Um, it's mainly newer PCs that I come across. It's not a lot of old PCs where you find these ceramics. That's my ceramics. Um, I have to process. This is my large, uh, larger fibers. Um, so again, these are the the larger fibers, and then we have the smaller fibers. So we have your little small fibres, so uh, pinned fibres, uh, we also have the, um, these boys as I was saying, the pinned, pinned ones with the heat sink on the back. So again, I'll be removing the heat sinks, getting the pins off, uh, treating them all separately, different things. So that's, that's kind of the collection I have at the moment um, that I'm work, going to be working on in my next couple of videos for this. So this is the, going to be the... Um, the series getting gold from uh, recovering gold from CPUs. So um, we'll be running a couple of couple of different videos on it, on the different different processes because different ways of doing different stuff with the different types of chips. They can't be all treated the same. Um, well, they can if you wanted to. You could just do it, put them all in nitric, uh, remove the pins from the wall, and put them all in nitric. But I'd separate them out. To so I'm not going to have as much hassle dealing with fiber and stuff like that, filtering out fibers and. Um, aluminium to make sure the aluminium is taken off the back stuff like that so that will be the uh, next upcoming series as well so I'll be working on a couple of series at the same time I'll be working on my RAM series I'll be working on my CPU series I'll be working on um, IC chips I'll be doing a video on the IC chips on the recovering the IC chips stuff like that from the PCs VGA chips so there'll be series on all that so I'll try to break it down as best I can for people so a, a lot of chance I've come across they have a lot of information but it's squeezed into one video so I try and break it down into smaller videos and try and spread out the information. Um, people leave comments as well. Check out comments because sometimes it might be something I may, may have got wrong and someone may have spotted it and told me, uh, come up with a better way of doing it or stuff like that. 
um, or something I may have left out that um, I should have left in that I actually do, but I didn't explain the process or something like that. I'm not going to be perfect on everything. This is just the way I do things. I don't recommend this for anyone to do unless you've got plenty of experience at it, uh, dealing with assets and uh, have a good area for doing it, safe area, uh, have all the health and safety equipment, all that sort of stuff. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you give me a, an old subscribe, give me a like, give me a share. Check out some of my other videos. Um, I will have a few of them popping up throughout this video and I'll have some at the end. Um, so if you're new as I was saying and you haven't subscribed, I got, um, at the, looking at my videos I'm getting 50%, about 54% are non-subscribers and 40 something percent are from subscribers looking at my videos of the amount of people visiting. So I'd like to turn a few of them 50% into uh, subscribers. So please, it's only just a click of a button. Hit the, hit the subscribe, hit the notification button, and when my videos come, uh, you'll get notification of them. So I'm trying to do one video a week at the moment. Um, hopefully in a couple of weeks' time, I'll be doing two videos. I hope to do some lives, so I'll just be chatting about scrap and stuff like that, general uh, chatting about scrap. And so if you, if you want to have a chat, um, working through processes, talking about uh, assets, uh, health and safety of the assets, stuff like that, uh, because I know there's some people probably who are nervous of the assets and they should be. And then there's some people who aren't nervous of assets and they should be. Because acid is very dangerous, it can kill if you don't know what you're doing, um, if you're just taking a chance on it. So if you're thinking about doing this, pro doing this stuff, make sure you've done plenty of research on it first before you go ahead and decide to, to um, jump straight in. So that's it for this video. So just a quick recap. I'm just going to, this, this series is going to be on uh, CPU uh, gold recovery. So it's the gold recovery from the CPU chips. So I'll have my different types of chips from my pinless all the way up to the ceramics and anything in between. So we have your fibers in between. We'd have your cheaper uh, um, fibers with very small amount of gold on them. Um, but again, I, I'd say I have the guts of maybe 20, 30 kgs, 40 kg, somewhere like that, of, C, of chips here at the moment to, to work through. Um, so hopefully I'll have a nice bit of gold at the end of it. Um, you know, cut, maybe an ounce, maybe, maybe a bit more, um, maybe a bit less, it all depends on the process. So if you want to see how it turns out in the end, uh, will, I be, will it be um, an expensive hobby that I'm going at? Will I lose money on it? Will I break even? Will I make money from it? Um, it's not really about making the money, to be honest. It's about the process of doing it. Showing there's not many people can do it uh, at home, can take a broken item and get some value back out of it. So recycling it, um, getting the gold from it. So overall, between everything from the PC, how much gold can I get out of PCs? Essentially from the RAM, from the chips, from the CPUs, from the pins, from the copper wire breaking it down into its smallest elements and making money from it. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, and hopefully on the way we all learn a bit. So thanks for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button. I hate having to repeat it so many times, but um, it's just very important. Some people just watch the video and don't hit it. Please hit the subscribe button. If it's, you're new to this channel, you haven't checked out before, or even if you're not new, but you haven't subscribed, or you may have uh, not been here for a while and your subscription doesn't count anymore, just have a look and hit the subscribe button. And thanks for watching. Until the next video, keep on looking for that gold, guys. Sorry, guys. Uh, just uh, one more thing. Um, I'd forget my head if it wasn't screwed onto myself. Um, I said I'd have a look under this before we were finished, just to see what sort of chip when there was so much heat, um, heat sink um, paste on it to try and disperse the heat. So I just want to see what type of chip it was. So I said I'd have a look at it before the end of the video, and I forgot. So I was just about to take out the card out of the camera we'll just have a quick look underneath here if we can get it apart there we go so a lot of paste on it so looking at it it's a uh, regular IC chip uh, probably generates a lot of heat a bit like the BGAs um, so we've got a little bit of gold there that I'll take off that as well uh, we've a little IC chip under there um, a little Another one of them ceramic crystal oscillators and two, three more on the back. So that was a nice little find. And um, also, 
Underneath here, I'm hoping is the BGA chip. Take off the heat sink. So there's our little gold cat, a gold uh, corner BGA. So I'll be doing a video as well as I say, uh, as part of this series, part of a series of of um, gold recovery from the uh, motherboards. So the first part will be on the um, CPUs. Then I'll do one on IC chips. Then I'll do one on gold cornered uh, BGAs. So I'll be doing one like on IC chips like these. I'll do it on the gold capped, uh, the gold cornered uh, BGAs. Um, I'll do it on the gold pins that are in here. So you can see the gold pins in there. I'll do it on it like where gold, wherever there's gold pins on the board. I'll do it on when I remove so again these gold pins here. Uh, there's more gold pins around here, so that's that's it. So just try to drop back and just do that quickly before I finished up uh, fully. So thanks again for watching, and uh, till the next one.